What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa. If you remember this car, that is the C8 Corvette. You remember we were here on the Dragon with it last time in Oculus tearing down for a time attack. Well now, we're here to do something different with it. If you noticed, you can probably see on my dashboard, we have a manual trans. No more paddles, which means you know this car is built for drifting. So we're going to take on the Dragon in the Drift C8 here on the set of course. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. We got the new energy innovation wheel on. So let's get to it. Let's get sideways. As you can see, we do have a handbrake, we got a manual trans, we got a C8, we got a mountain road, and we got shoes on. Starting to wear shoes more and more for racing and drifting, so no more bare feet on the pedal cam for you guys. We got shoes. Ooh, there we go. So the car is a little bit twitchier than say like my 14, oh, oh. Left foot braking is a little weird. The car is a little bit twitchier than, say, my 14 and my 13 and stuff like that because, well, engine being in the back and everything, and there's a lot of weight back there. So it does take a little bit of finesse to uh, actually be smooth with this car. And we're going to try and complete the Dragon without wrecking too, too bad. Ooh, a little dip. No good. We're still good, though. Throw it in there. Handbrake. There we go. Ooh. So it's much different. And apparently, my braking force is incorrect. So left foot braking is not really a thing in this car right now. So it's, it's much different than drifting just a straight rear-wheel drive car because of all the weight in the back, but you knew this was gonna happen. You knew I was gonna build a drift car out of the C8. I mentioned it. I thought we were gonna go off. Whew. My heart hurts. I mentioned about it when I did the C8 drive. And we are just understeering a lot. I'm wondering if I should adjust the brakes a little bit and try this again, or if we just try and finish this out. Here we go. Just gotta get the flow. Ooh! Oh my! I don't know how we didn't wreck. I would not be doing this in an actual C8. Oh! It's so weird. It's so different. So, we did convert it. Like I said, the manual trans. Otherwise, we didn't adjust it much. We just kind of switched the trans over to manual. Got a handbrake. So that we could actually use clutch. And see how twitchy that is? It's because of all that weight back there. And all that power. I'm noticing a lot of twitch. So I may have to tweak this out. Or maybe adjust some suspension settings. But, you know, this is just... The start of the build. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I did post about Adam LZ's version two of his E36 with the 1.5J. Do have that car almost ready to bring you guys the video to give you guys download links. Ooh, this is rough. This is car is hard to drift right now. Probably need to fine tune the suspension a little bit. 
may have to give this to one or two of my friends and have them rip it and get their opinions on it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Dipping, dipping tires. Suspending tires over, over edges like that. Man, this thing's twitchy. And you guys have seen me drift this track very smoothly before in my 14s and stuff like that. This car is just super twitchy with all that weight back there. This goes to show you that cars, where the engine placement everything is, is a huge determining factor of how the car reacts. Even here in the Sata Corsa. Like... Oh... Even adjusting the physics and kind of putting the physics how I like them is still making it lock the front up very well, like very fast. And these are the same physics base and everything I used in my 14, which you guys, you've driven it, you know, handles very well and is very, very smooth and very easy to drive. This car is not. And that's why every car I build, whether they're based on the same physics, they will all have their own little handling characteristics. That's gonna be a long handbrake drag. I would have definitely flat spot those tires because of weight of the car, placement, center of gravity, all those things. And the center of gravity of this car is definitely not the greatest for drifting, I don't think. Oh, but we can try and uh, survive as much as we can. God, I just throttle lift over steer. Nope. Didn't think I was gonna make that. Brakes are not helping me right now. So, we got a little bit of ways to go with the CA drift car. Because we are just tearing the dragon up. Not the good way, we're tearing up the dirt. This car's just super twitchy. Gonna have to fine tune the suspension. Maybe fine-tune the grip levels, maybe the power, something like that. But we're going to be doing a full build on it before I would release this to you guys. Because this is twitchy. And all I pretty much did was, like I said, changed the physics base a little bit. And the drivetrain to allow me to have a manual trans and handbrake. So... I may have to go in there and change up suspension work, do some suspension Ackerman changing, and things to get this to handle much nicer, but it is different because it feels different. Oh, that is not a wall tap. feels very different compared to all the other cars. Even being on the same, like, platform. Well, I say platform, I mean physics base. Save that though. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, I'm chalking it up to the weight as you can see how twitchy this actually is. But the NRG wheel does feel pretty good. The, you know, flat spoked NRG wheel that I got for racing does feel pretty good for drifting, too. I didn't expect it not to because, well, it is still a 350 wheel. It just doesn't have the drop down, so it's not as close to me. And it's not like I'm looking for paddles or buttons or anything like that when drifting. So it's just. My arms are a little bit more extended out. I could move my seat up to compensate for that if I wanted to, or we could just go haywire into the wall. So, this car, far from ready, but a lot of fun nonetheless. First time I think anybody has had a C8 drift car here in the set of Corsa. So, you guys are seeing this first. And if somebody else has it and you guys know about it, let me know. But I think this is the first one to be hitting the tracks of a set of Corsa or the mountain roads of the Dragon. I know that for sure. Oh boy, but it's got a lot of work to go. So this is just the first 
first episode of this CA Drift build. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.